Biggest star on TV right now and the manliest man on the planet is Mr. Danny Dyer. <laughs> Good to see you, Danny. Oh, lovely to be here. Would it be fair to say, and I think it would, uh, two years ago you joined EastEnders? Yeah. Is that right? Okay, changed your life. It's changed your life pretty much completely? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, 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 been a, it's been a long old two years, I'll tell you that now. Yeah, yeah. But it's been great for me. No, I think it's, it's, been, um, it's worked well for, the, for both of us. Yeah. I think the show's turned around and I think that they've, they've given me some real gifts as Definitely. an actor. Um, but yeah, two years, I think I've done 300 and something odd episodes. So when you went to the audition, so what was the audition like? Did you, did you think I you'd done audition? audition? They ran me up by the touch, yeah. Wow. They ran me up and said, listen, we want you to come into the show, take over to Queen Vic. And at the time, uh, I was skint and I just had about enough petrol money to get there. Yeah. And that's the truth. Really? But they thought I was a multimillionaire and I met them in the hotel and I walked in absolutely like skint, not to have been about me. I thought, I hope they don't ask me to get them a lager because I ain't got no fucking dough. <laughs> <laughs> and they sat me in a throne and told me how great I was and said, we want you to come in, take over the Vic and, you know, you're going to have a really big storyline about having a gay son and all this stuff. And it was like, wow, I sat there and thought, yeah. I don't want to do a cartwheel in front of them. I thought, play it down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't show your bolt too early, you know what I mean? And, then, uh, and I, I went, I'll, I'll think about it. And then I walked out and wow, I found so a you of played it that cool? Out, you yeah. made it seem like it wasn't... Oh, yeah, no, I played it right then, yeah. Why, why? Well, I didn't want to, I didn't want to look desperate. Yeah. And I was desperate, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, now, I don't know if this is true. I read something about the... Cos you're now filming uh, the, the Christmas special. So you're a few months ahead on EastEnders. Yeah, they right? always, yeah. Uh, I don't want to give you anything away, but uh, I read, and I didn't know whether this was a joke or not, one of the producers said there's a special storyline going on, they've had you fitted for a wetsuit. Is that, was that a joke by them? Or nah, that ain't a joke. No, I'm not allowed to give nothing too much away, but, yeah, no, it's a big wedding. So they said, listen, we're going to leave you this Christmas. Last Christmas we put it on you, I thought, touch. Bit of a rest, but New Year's Day, I thought, oh, here we go, right? <laughs> now, the wedding... Yeah. It's an extenders wedding, isn't it? Yeah. So it's fact, straight yeah. away. <laughs> it's not, it's yeah, not it's, all... It's, it's not, not going to be happy. Nah. No. But it, it, it's... Again, it's another gift for me as an actor. It's a great... Yeah. I can't... I, I, wish, I, I wish I could declare it a lot. I really do. I can't really say well, too much about it. Well, give us a little it. bit, then. Well, I've got no, a wetsuit, because... so that's just something. Well, you've so got to so there's bit... water involved. Yeah, but, well, not necessarily. <laughs> well, I, why would I be running about in a wetsuit? Well, I don't know. This is what I might hear. Yeah, so there's water involved. I'll give you that. Um... <laughs> It goes a bit bandy, uh, starts off lovely, yeah. and it goes a bit bandy, and then for some reason I whack a wet... But how does it you go from a... You got a wet suit on, oh, no, that's the thing. So you're wearing it under your wedding gear? Yeah. yeah. What? Well, I won't put it over the top of it. Oh, well, will it? <laughs> How did you get a wetsuit over a tie and all that? And you, well, James Bond did it, didn't he? He came yeah. out of the water once, he's unzipped yeah. it, he had a dinner suit underneath. It's dark, but it, it, it resolves a certain storyline. Right. So something... Of the old woman. Something in the water you need to go into... Nothing in the water. Nothing in the water, but I have to get in the water. <laughs> if there's nothing in the water, why do no, you have to sang, get in the water? There's sand in the water. There's sand in the water. And I'll get in it. You get in the water to find the something. To get to sort the something out. Something? I sort the something out in oh, the water. So something's going on in the water. Something's happening in the water. But yeah. something you knew was going to go on because no, you came prepared. No, 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 no. no this why is are you wearing a wetsuit? They're saying we have, you don't think I've got. I'm not meant to have a wetsuit on. But you have. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Uh, yes. Oh, I understand. Yes. <laughs> I, don't wet, I don't see something going on ah. in the drink and go right. Whack a wetsuit on, bum. <laughs> I thought since started doing the no, thing bit, you're no, wearing no, a wetsuit, no, 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 and they went, why the wetsuit? And you go, something no, no, bish no, 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 you ain't meant to know I've got a wetsuit. Oh, I see. So the wetsuit so is the, so really... So they, they got me a whistle oh, bigger, so, oh, that I gotcha. could, so that I can get the wetsuit on under. I see. I can't tell you why not. Ah, OK. I'd love to. Well, I, 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 I gonna... just have got nothing but egg. If I tell you now, I have nothing but egg when I walk off this stage. Yeah, it would be grief all the way. Oh, sacked. OK, so here's the thing. Now, we're not really here. We haven't got Danny here to talk about EastEnders, really, cos he's got a book out. The book is called The World According to Danny Dyer. Life lessons from the East End because you are, and this is out now, ladies and gentlemen. You are genuinely from the East End, of course. A lot of yeah. people have that kind of accent. They're not necessarily from there. You're from where? Canning Town, was it? Custom House, which is near Canning Town, which is worse than Canning Town. If there was a place worse than Canning Town, it's Custom House. Okay, and Canning Town's not great. Nah, it's a shit hole, complete yeah, so... shit hole. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't knock it. It's made me, you know, what I am today. All my family's from there. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've just sort of ranted about a few things, you know what I mean? But you're not in... Uh, well, you're East still, but you're not in the East End as such anymore. You moved to Essex. Now, why make that move? Because I get the feeling the East End is part of you, it's part of what made yep. you who you are, and you obviously have affection and love for it, so why move away? Well, because I earned a few quid, John. 
Simple as that. <laughs> but even so, it's poverty. So when you earn a few quid, you want to get out of poverty, surely? Yeah. Makes sense. You've got kids in that. And it's not giving it to big and nothing like that. But why do you want to still, you know, live on a council estate? And, I, I, you know, I did live on a council estate for many, many years. And I got quite famous. And I thought, no, I'll never forget your roots, boy. And all of a sudden, you're in a situation where your house is like Stonehenge. And everyone's standing outside. It's not a house, really. It's a flat and a masonette. And then someone nicked me bin. <laughs> well, What's that now? You can't get a bin. If, you, if, you, if your bin gets chored, you ring the council and ask them for a bin, you've got more chance of them coming around and fitting a jacuzzi in your house. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot get a bin. You can't, can't get them. <laughs> so I'd be bin chored. I thought, what, 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 <laughs> Who took the bin? Burgle me. Don't nick me bin. Yeah. I mean, you should bring me. Man's bin is his castle. Well, I was fucked, because then I know it put me rubbish. Well, 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 it down. <laughs> what were you doing with it? Well, I was going over the road to my mother in law and dumping it in her thing, wow. but then she's got, so she's got the hump. Yeah, yeah. Got the no hump. one wants to see someone else putting nah, rubbish nah, in their bin, even nah. if it's a small item. Well, well you had weeks. whole bags, I guess. Well, every two weeks they come now and all, didn't they? So it's aggravation, isn't it? What's slip. that about? Well, that's bollocks, isn't it? Always recycling and all that. I know I get it for the planet, but ain't it fucking egg, isn't it's it? It's annoying. Oh, <laughs> you put a bottle in the bin, it's all taped up, police wire around it, gauge is done. The aggravation of it all. Uh, okay, so um, th there's a lot of funny stuff in the book, a lot of stuff which I think is genuine. And there's one moment in particular in the book, one very touching one, where you talk about your fiance, because you're not married just yet, are you? You're on the no, verge no, of getting married? No, on the verge of it. All right, Joanne, and you talk about her, and it's very sweet what you say um, about her. So, no, I love her, Dave. She's got the hump me at the moment. It's always weird when you come to an interview and you've had a row in, in the day. What was the row about? Can oh, you share that? It's all bollocks. I don't want to go into it, but. <laughs> I love it to death, I do, but I'll, t I'll, t I'll, tell, you what the, I'll, t I'll tell you what the murders is over, is that you're going to ask me the question about the wedding, and I ain't got a clue about the wedding yet, I don't uh, know what to well, say. Because she, well, because you were waiting for her it. to name the day, weren't you? Well, that's right. We're useless as men, really. It's the woman's day. I want to sit in the cars on my own. Yeah. I love her to death. I'd rather go to the registry office, have a couple of olivants laid out, and boom, done. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to have a massive day. It's her call, but I've done an interview recently and I've said, I don't know nothing about it. She's sorting out her indoors. She's got the zig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so she was worried. So that she's I got the absolute. Would... Don't talk about me on that gentleman must tonight. I yeah. thought, I went, I won't. Then it went. kicked off. <laughs> well, then they... I, I, need, I need to, um... I feel bad now. No, I need to make it. I need to, I need to, I need to well, fall out. See... I'm, I'm petrified of the bird. But what you're saying there, <laughs> the two of you met... At, am I right, you met at drama school? No, I, mean, I went to school with her. You went to school with her? Went through puberty together and everything, what? yeah. <laughs> together, so not at the same time. But... No, uh... <laughs> That was a late start of me, I was, uh... <laughs> But you did drama classes together, didn't you? That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. As yeah, I was in the same class. Was in the same but, class. And she was seen as being a better actor than you. Well, well better. She got an A, I got a B. Uh. <laughs> How long goes it? Coursework. It's all coursework. <laughs> it's all the spelling and all that. And I know I nosed that up. But, um, but you, you know, we actually had our exam together. Yeah. We had that we'd done our like, end of, uh, I don't know, is it a term now? I don't know what you call it now, in year eight and all that. Well, look, so what is it? I think they still call it a term. Uh, but, um, <laughs> you. <laughs> So you were at school with the... So we've done long... our exam together, yeah, she beat me. And how long ago is this, then? I was, what, 16, so... That's 10, 10, 12 years ago? No, tw <laughs> no tw 20, 22 stretch ago. OK, and have you... Fuck. you forgiven her for this, or you've made peace with the fact that she nah, was I a think, better... I didn't give me the ump, really. I, you know, I, 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 she was fit. We weren't going to get the ump over there. He was a young boy. Yeah. You're running about, you know, you've got a constant bone on. You ain't going to go, babe, you've got an A. <laughs> so, I, so tonight, I'm not going to touch your tits, all right? <laughs> No, you know, I was in love with her. I loved her. It was romance. <laughs> She's the lady I fucked her. That is about the most romantic thing anyone's ever said on this show. So, so John, I'll be getting divorced uh, before I'm married next year. I don't think so. You, but you, you know what? Because clearly you're, you're uh, not at war with yourself, but you're someone who, on the, on the surface, you are a certain kind of person, and we maybe make a judgment on that, but you're a very sensitive person, clearly. You're a I sensitive am a, person. I am a sensitive soul. Yeah, yeah, on my yeah. life, I am, and I'm... Constantly, listen, I live with, you know, I've got me missus with two daughters. I've just had a son who's absolutely off his nut, this kid. How old is he now? He's two. <laughs> he's off his nut. I, I, I don't know how to deal with sons. I, I, I've always wanted a son, and now I'm thinking, can I give him away for a couple of years? Can yeah. I pick him up? <laughs> this is young Artie, right? Young Artie. Okay. And he's a beaut. I mean, he looks like um, he's in a choir. And he looks a bit like Boris Johnson. He's got blonde hair, blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a steward's on that, but... Uh... <laughs> He, he's off his nut. He just wants to kill himself. He's, really? he's hell bent on it. He don't listen to me. Um, I, uh, I had a knock on the door a little while ago, and I was in my other gaff. Two girls at the door, teenage girls. Right, they went all craft. I opened the door. And I said, 
Excuse me, you've got a little boy hanging out your window. He's climbed <laughs> out of his car. It's like Mission Impossible hanging out the window. Oh. I've dived to get... Honestly, he, he's, he's unlocked it. He's broke the lock. Wow. Unlocked it. I bought myself a slush puppy machine recently. I, uh, it was a uh, wrong move. Yeah. <laughs> well, just now he's climbing up and he keeps putting slush on the carpet now, doesn't he? Well, if you buy a slush puppy oh, no, machine and you've mode, got you a child in the house, what no, do you expect? You well, Why got, have you bought a slush puppy? I've got excited by over a slush puppy machine, yeah. right? You can't... I don't think you should be able to have slush puppies when you want. I think it should be a treat. Yeah. <laughs> the world agrees with you. That's why none of us have got one in our house. <laughs> I've, I've done it now, and I can't. Oh, I can't buy one and show the kids and then take it away from them. Yeah. But he's so the, so the other morning I thought I was being burgled. I could hear noise down. I thought, what's going on here? Anyway, I thought, you turn it off of a night. It's slush type machine. It's a bollocks. But it's not noisy. It's like a tank, right? <laughs> yeah. I've heard it's gone on. I thought, it can't be a burglar. We wouldn't put the slush puppy machine on, would they? <laughs> I've gone down. He's down there doing himself a slush puppy. Two years of age. Slash puppy, then he's slash puppy, and not only that, he's put the blue in with the red. It was driving me mad. <laughs> I said, get a bit. Okay. Uh, well, he Good said, dad, mate. You know, you, I imagine, can I guess? I'm just guessing here. I imagine young Danny, when you were two or three, you were probably not the most calm. I bet you were. Oh, he's calm, mate. He is absolutely. He is calmer, to be fair. He's yeah. a beaut, though. I love, I mean, I love my kids to death, but the, 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 the whole sun thing's a whole new. Uh, and the slash puppy thing, I'm not trying to plug slash puppy. I'm just saying, come on the other day. Well, I don't worry, like, because none of us are going to buy a machine anyway. <laughs> I can't remember the other day. I said to my eight year old daughter, she had a slush puppy in her hand. I said, How many of you had? She said, Nine. <laughs> Off a nut on slush. <laughs> it's like, I just got to oh, go. Yeah. It's got to oh, go. Yeah. This machine. I want that phrase to be remembered. Off her nut on slush. <laughs> She was. She was off her head on slush puppies. She had nine slush puppies in the day. Treat wow. them to a bag of wow. chips and a slush. OK, we should point out other soft drinks are available. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, but the big news, this, 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 we're going to move on a minute. I want to I wanna check one thing backstage, cos Priscilla, I wonder if Miss Presley uh, is back there. Miss Presley, uh, have you understood much of what Danny said? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, 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 Priscilla, we'll translate when, you, when you're out here. Thank you. uh, the big news of this week has been the James Bond movie, of course. Yeah. There's talk about whether or not Daniel Craig will be doing any more. Uh, various names have been thrown into the ring. People have talked about whether we should have a Bond of colour, whether we should have a female Bond, uh, whether one of our current male actors should be a Bond. Your name, I don't think, has come up. I, don't, I, I haven't seen your name on the list. <laughs> but I, I think you, you, you would be a good Bond, and I, I wonder whether you would be interested in that, whether you've thought about that. I would love to do bone. Of course I would. The thing is, my odds at the betting shop is that um, Emily Blunt's better odds than me. <laughs> <laughs> to become the next Bond. That's so it's a bit great. of a kick out of bollocks, not really. Well. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why can't we have a Cockney Bond? Well, would you do him as a Cockney? Of course I would. <laughs> well, let's play a scene here. So I'm Blofeld. <clears throat> I kind of go, ah, oh, Mr. Bond. What? Go on. Go on. I have been expecting you, Mr. Bond. Yeah, I know. I've had my eye on you. I'm a spy. I can see you. <laughs> I love this Bond. He gets straight to the point. He gets straight to the point. Uh, Danny Dyer, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Danny is great. Thank you. Very funny. Danny Dyer. OK, don't go away, because still to come on the show, we've got Priscilla Presley, Rob Beckett, Elvis Costello and Electro-pop group Caravan Palace. So don't go anywhere.